you doing, Mr. Settler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. He'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Driscoll boys are coming! Windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! I always say that. Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! I said, is everyone accounted for? I think. She's still out there! Cover me! Okay!
Torch. <sighs> we okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Morning, Arthur. Came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards.
You must be Danbury. What? Will you be quiet? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. One about the oil near Wapiti. Danbury, think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here! It's here! Danbury, real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury. Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you.
There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. Couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <sighs> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, hand over just all your money, money now. Don't make Quick. us kill you. Okay, take Mr. Over. S, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. Give me your money. This one it ain't dying. worth dying. It's your choice. Okay. Not mine. It's yours. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. I said, open the gate okay. and let my Give me everything you've got. Quick. Yes. Of course. Take it. There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get okay. out of here and Take get ready for company. about your next move. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn down! We got you surrounded! That Six greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen!
going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all.